I'm hiring you as a partner track senior associate. Stop by tomorrow and we'll find you a suitable office. Yes, I'll, I'll be there at 9 o'clock sharp. <laughs> You're so right, my dear. Ethan is every bit as impressive as you said he'd be. Wait, you two know each other? Gwen recommended you for the job. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Maddox. I, I, I can't work for you. Ethan, why can't you accept my job offer? It's a perfect fit. I know, sir, and I'm sorry that I wasted your time. But I, I have to be sure that whatever job I get, I get because of who I am, not who I used to be. <laughs> then what's the problem? I'm hiring you because you're a first-rate attorney. No, sir, you're hiring me because of my connection with Gwen and her connection with you. A connection that I never would have if I hadn't been a crane. Ethan, don't... No, look, I'm sorry, sir. I know you don't understand where I'm coming from, but I can't accept your offer. I don't mean this to sound trite or insincere, but I'm very impressed with you, Ethan. Very impressed. If you ever change your mind, I'll have an office waiting. Thank you, Mr. Maddox. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm... I didn't know I was doing anything wrong. That's why I didn't tell you about it. I know you're just trying to help Gwen, but I need to find a job on my own. It's as simple as that. Okay, I understand. And I promise you, it'll never, ever happen again. No lectures about how stubborn I am or stupid? No. No, no. From here on out, I'm going to be an honest and supportive friend. Someone you can always trust. And, and when you tell me how you want something done, I'm not going to fight you on it. You'll always be able to depend on me.